Good morning, I'm Clara Arceo with Bayer Craft Science here at Muscatine and today we're super excited because we have our annual STEM Day event going on. We do have over 20 Bayer volunteers here and about 40 FFA students that are helping us have this successful event. And what we're doing, we're interacting with fifth grade students from all over the Muscatine School District. We have a total of seven stations and our goal is to make make science make sense. So we have different stations where the students are going to be able to have um, interactive activities and learn more about science. So this is a really important day for us. Um, for Bayer, our mission is science for a better life. Um, so we are committed to delivering that science message. Our vision is health for all, hunger for none. So like I said, we are excited to give back to the community and have this awesome event with all of the awesome volunteers here. Hi, um my name is Elsie Lewis and I'm the Muscatine FFA chapter president and today we are volunteering for STEM Day. We have about 40 members that are volunteering. Um, it's a fun day for us to interact with the fifth grade students in the Muscatine Community School District. It's also just a fun way to interact with BEAR members. Um, it's a cool learning experience for all of us and overall it's just a fun day. So we're hoping to get these students more experience so that they can be involved in the FFA chapter when they get to high school and middle school. So we're already here. So we've got the dry ice with us, this liquid of solid basically. Once you drop it in, that's the gas coming out. Then we've got the ice, that's the liquid. It melts, that doesn't because it's got CO2 in it. And that's basically what the gas is and a solid at the same time. But the ice, it turns into a liquid. There's usually five types of matter. There is solid, liquid, gas, plasma, and a lab-made one. Uh, we have an example of solid going into a gas right here, and we're using dry ice, which is carbonation, like packed together into a solid. So we have a thing of apple juice for the fifth graders and we are putting dry ice in it to give it a carbonation and to make it cold and we're serving it to the kids. How are you doing? My name is Mark Humphreys. I'm with Bayer here uh, in Muscatine, Iowa and right here in front of me we have Ublek. Ublek is a non-Newtonian fluid so the shear rate and shear stress ratio changes which means that we can play really fun tricks with speakers on it. So right now we're putting a low frequency generator on it and it's making the liquid dance around very slowly. As I move the frequency generator higher, we can put different sound wave patterns within the Ublek. So here we go low and now we got a medium and now I can go even higher. And as I go even higher, we'll start seeing the sound waves. And as I go to completely t high, you see the liquid goes steady again. And back down. Oh, they've loved it. They've had a great time doing it. We have great helpers here with us today from FFA. So it's been a wonderful experience working with the kids here in Muscatine. Is this a safe spot to be? It is. Okay. Maybe. Famous last words. Yeah. Try some warm water, see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna take this rocket and we're gonna fill it up. Maybe. Let's try a small one and see what happens. So I'm just gonna put it on here. Alright, everybody stand back just a little bit. Alright, so when we have a chemical reaction and you see steam or it's releasing heat, we call it exothermic. Right? That means it's giving off heat. There's other types of reactions that that are the opposite, where they absorb heat. Where you see the steam coming off, we know this one's exothermic. So if we were to touch that right now, that'd be pretty warm. 